This is Clip Town, the oldest township in Soweto. Like many poor areas in South Africa, there's high unemployment, crime, and a lack of basic services like water and electricity. Moses Sehemo hopes South Africa's new cabinet changes things. I think this new cabinet will be different from the old one. I have hoped that this new one that has both black and white leaders might handle things differently. In my opinion, I think there will be more jobs and they will fix other things. South Africa's new coalition cabinet has a lot of work to do. Deliver better services, fix crumbling facilities and create jobs. Eleven political parties make up the new government, all with different ideologies and policy ideas. That means there could be some tense disagreements, but South Africans hope politicians can put aside their differences for the good of the country. The ANC has 20 out of 32 cabinet posts. The Democratic Alliance has six. Six other portfolios are shared among smaller parties. I think it'll fall apart at some point, and the question is that weeks, months, or a couple of years, the first big uh, government of national unity didn't last beyond 1997 when the then deputy president, F.W. de Klerk, pulled out. And um, that was, uh, yeah, about three years in, and I don't think this one will have that even that longevity because the contradictions are so extreme within this particular arrangement. Frustrations about poverty, corruption, inequality, and unemployment are some of the reasons why the ANC lost its majority in May. Issues the new coalition government needs to urgently address. Harumatasa Al Jazeera, Johannesburg. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.